Hey, Tommy. Hey, Kevin, how are you? All right, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Another build it project? What you thinking? Well, I was actually thinking about doing a nice project on the lathe again. The lathe, your new favorite pastime. Okay, <laughs> I'm up for that. Well, what, is, what do you have in mind? Uh, how about a rolling pin? It's all, <laughs> I don't know. All kinds of rolling pins out there, and I thought we would do a rolling pin out of this uh, piece of mahogany right here. Spin it and make it a French rolling pin. And in other words, it'd just be straight and then a slight tapered on the end, so there would be like one dowel. No handles spinning or anything like that. Right, right. Normally, I would say, Tom, I have no interest, but it turns out my wife is a baker and yeah. she actually asked me for a rolling pin for Christmas, so I got her one. I didn't realize how many rolling pins there were. Yeah, we could have made her one. Too late. Yeah. <laughs> so rather than just spin this piece of mahogany, I thought I would like to put a little pattern in the middle of it, oh, a little nice. detail. Yeah. So I glued up some veneer right here last night, and this is a piece of maple and a piece of mahogany, mm -hmm. and I put the three of them together. And let's put an X pattern right in the middle and see what happens when we turn it. All right, I'm in your hands. All right, let's start it over the saw. And first thing I did, find the center of the blank of wood, and I made one complete cut. Now I cut a short piece of the inlay, the length of the diagonal, on, with an angle on each end. lay that in place, and I put the three pieces together. I take a second piece of inlay and I put it on top, marking the thickness of the inlay. Then I cut that section out with the saw. I'm using blue tape to hold all the pieces together so I can cut them. So the tape is gonna hold all of the pieces in the correct orientation, so we can glue that up. Yep. Bring that together. All right, so now we get some clamps. Clamp that up. That's what I like, the glue's coming out of that joint there, nice. Would be nice to turn this on the lathe right now, but we actually have to wait 24 hours for this glue to dry. That's why I glued up a second piece. Of course you did. Last night, so we can turn <laughs> it right now. Have a look at that one right there. That is sweet. All right, let's get that on the lathe, and we can turn it. First thing we need to do is find the centers on each end, put a hole in it. All right, so now we're ready to mount our piece into the lathe. We have a live center on this end, mm -hmm. and this is gonna grab into the end of the piece so it'll spin. So I'm gonna drop this one right in here, line it up with that hole. And I'll tighten this down using my center points that we've made on the ends. Okay, now, give a little bit of tension. I want to have about a uh, quarter of an inch clearance between the material and the tool rest. Okay, now we're ready to go. We've got our face shield. I have my glasses so I can see. Aprons to keep the sawdust off of us and the shavings. My sleeves are long, but they're buttoned down. All right, so we're gonna run a lathe probably around 1200 revolutions a minute is pretty good. Now the roughing gouge is going to give it a round. We're going to make it round. We're going to take our time. So we'll grab it, pick up slightly, and just walk it over. Now you see how I'm sliding with my body? You can go like that. Pushing everything with my body, I'm becoming one. If I move this hand, I move this hand, I'm going to get lined. You don't want to do that. Raise 
raise it up, raise it up. That's right, keep coming, keep coming. Feels pretty good. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good detail, huh? It's beautiful. All right, now we're ready to basically put a couple of tapered ends on it to make the handles. And I want to make this section of the roller consistent so it'll be flat. So I think I'm going to make it about 11 and a half. Let's do 12 inches. So I take it from the center, six inches. And I go here, 12. That's party tool right there. That just allows us to bring it down and get our right depth. And I'll start my calipers in that. Bring it in. Now we're ready to do the taper. And then for that, I'm gonna use a skew chisel. Now these are uh, more of an advanced tool because this will really kick back at you but it will give you a nice finish and remove a lot of material quickly. All chisels work off of the bevel. I bring it down, hit the bevel, keep going. At the same time, I'm raising the handle and I'm pitching it slightly because I don't want this tip to catch. If this catches, that's gonna kick right back at me. So I wanna bring it up, find the bevel, bring my handle up, keep coming down. Now I have it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a finishing polish on here. It's food safe. Put a little dab on with a paper towel. And you're just going to rub it around. And always use a paper towel on a lathe. You never want to use cloth because if it gets caught, the paper towel will break away. A cloth won't. Pull you right in and then you get trouble, huh? Yeah, then you get trouble. Look at that mahogany, dark, rich color come out. That's yeah, nice. All right, so the finish has dried a little bit. It's probably been about 15 minutes. So with a clean paper towel, I want you to hold your hand on it, around it, and then back and forth, put some pressure on it so it actually heats up. Yep, definitely some friction. Yep. Starting to give a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, you're it. starting to get your sheen now. A little polish coming through. There you go. Tommy, that is the nicest looking rolling pin I have ever seen. That thing is awesome. Pretty nice, huh? The little detail sets it right off. That's beautiful. Nice job. And that's a little rolling pin for your lovely wife. Seriously? That's right. Kathleen's going to be psyched. Thank you. That's <laughs> My awesome. Pleasure. Thanks for your help. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.